going on, Blood Squad? It's your girl, Chloe Yasmin, back in the cut with another hygiene video. And in today's video, your girl is going to be an up... Uh, what? Your girl is going to be doing an updated in-shower hygiene routine. So the reason why I'm not going to do, like, the full hygiene routine, like, the in-shower and after-shower hygiene routine, is because this video would literally add up to, like, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and I know nobody wants to watch a video for that long. I know I don't. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... Well, I'm going to make separate videos. I'm going to do an in-shower hygiene routine, and I'm going to do it like um, a post shower hygiene routine so what I do after I get out of the shower so with that being said I wrote down everything that I do inside the shower because when I tell you guys it can be really frustrating trying to remember everything that you do in order so I had to go ahead and write it down so that I can remember also my hair looks a hot mess um I was just gonna go ahead and co-wash it but then I was just like I feel really tired like I really did not go to sleep until like 1 2 o'clock in the morning and then I woke up at like around 8 30 or 8 20 I'm not really sure but I really did not get the full eight hours of sleep um I'm also breaking out pretty bad and I know that time of the month is coming up that is always a sign telling me that it is coming up it could happen today it could happen tomorrow if you guys did not know I don't have an exact day so it just comes whenever it wants to come and I also was wishing for my hair to like look like this I wanted it to be like this but it's just not working out that way that was the hairstyle I was going for and then it didn't want to do it so with that being said let's hop into this hygiene routine I have not done like a high an updated hygiene routine in like forever I know that it has changed a bit when I tell you guys I go through phases with hygiene like I want to do this certain times I gotta do this other times so it just it changes it just fluctuates so obviously us girls we all know that we do not like to wash our hair and shave in the same exact shower because you were literally one time I literally almost passed out seriously like I had to literally hop out of the shower and go into like a cold room because I I literally almost passed out it was that bad so I learned to never do that again but the first thing that I do if I'm washing my hair that day is I run the hot to warm water or warm to hot water it all depends on what you guys like I know females we tend to like hot showers which I personally like hot showers because I feel like with hot showers well the hotter the water the better you're gonna smell like hot water gets rid of odors um, warm water does too but it just takes a little bit more elbow grease so I just feel like hot water is just better I know a lot of people cannot take that though because of their skin type um, but I can so I always get my little hot water on and I go ahead and I start washing my hair So what I like to wash my hair with one of my favorite things to wash my hair with right now Is this not your mother's way to grow long and strong shampoo? This is my backup. I have them in my shower right now I have the shampoo and conditioner in my shower right now But my favorite shampoo right now is this not your mother's way to grow long and strong shampoo It is so bomb now I think what I really 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 love about this shampoo is it makes my hair smell so bomb And I also feel like it really has been um growing my hair because it is meant to grow your hair and it has been doing the dang job if you guys are like true blue subscribers and you keep them on, on my channel then you know that my hair has been growing at such a fast pace I don't think it's ever grown this fast ever in my whole entire life so I feel like this is really what has been helping that and then what I also condition my hair with is the way to grow long and strong matching conditioner now I'm not gonna be really getting into detail on how I wash my hair and like my routine on my hair because I have a link in my description right now if you guys want to go ahead and check that out it is my hair hygiene routine and I literally broke it down to how I wash my hair how I get it to smell good and how I take care of my hair and keep it healthy that literally is a whole separate video so I'm not gonna get into crazy detail about that in this video but if you want to go ahead and click the link in the description I will have that video right there anyway so after I get done washing my hair like I said before I don't really wash my hair and shave my legs in the same exact shower but if I weren't to wash my hair that day like today this is what I did I hopped in the shower I immediately started to scrub my body with a body scrub now this right here is the Tree Hut Belly's Breeze Shea Sugar Scrub. My favorite scrubs are the Tree Hut Scrubs. They are so bomb. They're super abrasive. They make your skin feel so amazing. So this is what I always scrub my skin with. When I tell you guys, your girl is a hygiene junkie. So I've tried a lot of different body scrubs. I've tried a lot of different brands and all this different stuff. But I've never found a body scrub brand or line that is as good as the Tree Hut Body Scrubs. They are all amazing. They're all super abrasive. I believe that they use the same exact kind of formula for all of them but just different scents. Um, they all smell so good some of them are lightly scented and some of them are strongly scented so it's good for the sensitive people and the people that just love a strong scent and I love strong scents this one right here is not strong at all it's really not that strong but I really do like the scent it's very light so if you're looking for more of a light scent I definitely suggest this one but I go over my whole entire body with a body scrub and you want to go ahead and not make your body so like like you don't want your body to be super wet so if you want to go ahead and exfoliate I suggest like kind of getting some of the water off your 
your body and then exfoliating. And the reason why I scrub first is because if you scrub before you shave, it will be the smoothest shave ever. See, somewhere along the line, I got confused and I started scrubbing after I shaved, which was the total opposite of what I, what I should have been doing. So I, sh I scrub before I start shaving. And my favorite razor is this. It's the Intuition Fab Razor. I love this razor. This is the first razor that they've ever came out with on the market that you can go back and forth with. Please do not listen to anybody that is telling you that you can use another razor to go back and forth with. Like, that is not true. You will That will cause long-term damage. Anyway, after I, get done scrubbing my whole, after I get done scrubbing my whole entire body, I will go in with a shaving cream. I don't really have, like, a shaving cream that I use, like, every single time I shave. I have a lot of different shaving creams, so I'm not really consistent with the shaving cream. But I do like this. Pure Gillette Venus Manuka Honey and Vanilla Shaving Cream. Um, it really is a cream. It doesn't really foam up. It's just like a cream. And I think this is really good for people that have sensitive skin. Um, it's very moisturizing. And it's free of dyes, parabens, sulfate, all types of stuff. Like it has no coloring or anything like that. And this is really bomb. I've noticed that when I shave with this shaving cream, like my legs are super soft. They're also very moisturized. Because a thing with a lot of shaving creams is they don't really contain a lot of moisture. They don't really have a lot of moisturizing products or ingredients. And so this one does and it works really amazing so I like to use a lot of shaving cream because I've noticed that the more shaving cream I use the more of a smooth shave easier shave and everything of the sort like it's just a better shave when you use a lot of uh, shaving cream so whatever shaving cream you're using I definitely suggest using a lot of it and be very gentle with your um, legs because if you just try to hurry up like you're gonna end up cutting yourself and you're not gonna like that or your legs can become very irritated because you just went too fast and sometimes when you're going too fast you're putting a lot of pressure down as well so you don't want to put a lot of pressure you want to take your time and you also just want to be just very gentle with everything that you do when you're using a razor so after I get done shaving my legs I immediately go into my armpits um so you definitely want to go ahead and exfoliate your armpits with the sugar scrub but I'm not gonna hold you guys up my routine is really different so after I get done shaving my legs I haven't even cleaned my body yet so what I'll do is I'll go in with this exfoliating washcloth that I got from Dollar Tree it's a really good exfoliating washcloth I mentioned it on on my Dollar Tree re my recent Dollar Tree video and I'll put a lot of soap on it what I usually use is oh it has a piece of hair on it I usually use this Dove deep moisture body wash and I'll put like three to four pumps and I'll just scrub my armpits up real quick and then after I get done scrubbing them with this I still go in with a shea sugar scrub and I will exfoliate my armpits again and then I'll go in with whatever shaving cream I'm using and then begin shaving my armpit and I go up like three times and then I go down three times and if I still Still feel like it's still like a little bit prickly then I'll go to the side but yeah like you can't just immediately jump into exfoliating your armpits with this if you haven't even cleaned your armpits yet so I do clean them before I shave them anyway so after I get done shaving my legs and shave my armpits I will hop into cleaning my body now a lot of you guys may be asking like do you shave your downstairs area this and this and that um, I'm not gonna say that I completely don't because it really just depends on what type of mood I'm in but I will say this don't let anybody force you to feel like if you don't then you're gross I've mentioned this on another hygiene routine before I literally talked about this on another video I'm not really sure what video it was but I think it was a recent hygiene routine and basically the main reason why a lot of females tend to shave is because they're morally peer pressured into it because of all the other girls are doing it but mostly why the other girls are doing it is for sexual reasons and I spoke about this on my channel I'm not gonna get too deep into it but I'm not saying that all girls do that but that is literally like 90% of why a lot of females do that so if you're not allowed to or if you just don't want to or if you just don't like to don't let anybody pressure you into doing it because it's not something that you have to do don't let anybody tell you that if you don't shave then you're going to stink because I thought that at one point and it's honestly not true it all depends on how you take care of yourself so with that being said it's all up to you anyway so after I get done exfoliating and shaving I go in with the exfoliating washcloth so I do double exfoliate and I get my favorite bar soap this is my favorite bar soap right now it is the Dove white bar and I put the Dove white bar in the middle of my exfoliating washcloth on the hard side and I just go back and forth with my exfoliating washcloth with the bar soap in the middle and I get it super soapy and then I just begin exfoliating my whole entire body and cleaning my body now this right here is a really good thing for body acne because I know a lot of people break out on their arms on their chest on their back and really this helps because you're really getting all those oils that are trapped into your pores you're just really deeply cleaning your body and it's only 
only one dollar and you can get this dove bar soap for a dollar as well and you just get the exfoliating washcloth super soapy and you just go over your whole entire body i really do like exfoliating my um elbows like focusing on my elbows and focusing on my knees and places that can get darker if you don't um it also helps with strawberry legs if you exfoliate every single day and i use this every single day to exfoliate my body so yeah i just get super soapy clean my neck clean behind my neck i try to reach my back clean my chest clean my whole entire body just everything you would like to clean with this i just don't really suggest cleaning like the butt crack area because and i'm not doing this to be petty it's only for mature people only if you're trying to watch this video and get tips but i don't like cleaning that area with this because it can get really sensitive so after i get done um, exfoliating and cleaning my whole entire body with the dove soap then i put these two back and then i go in with a regular washcloth and then i go in with my favorite body wash of all time it is the dove deep moisture body wash and i usually use the pump because it's so much easier and then i just get a lot on my washcloth and i clean my body again and i really do suggest like double cleansing your body or triple cleansing your body because when i tell you guys that is honestly a main reason why we all tend to struggle with like a severe breakout from acne it helps with the body breakouts and it helps with really smelling good because if you're not like double cleansing your body or triple cleansing your body you could still have dirt or you could still have like funk that you didn't really fully clean off and so it'll produce faster because it really wasn't all gone you want to make sure that you're not really scrimping with your soap though one thing for me is i noticed that the more soap that i use the better i smell and the cleaner that i feel the more clean i feel um so you want to use a lot of soap i like to use a lot a lot a lot of soap and i soap my body up very 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 good and it's just amazing now this is your choice if you want to do this or not if you want to do this or not but after i get done using my dove products i go in with like a bath and body works body wash or whatever body wash that you like to use whatever it is you can even just go back in with the dove deep moisture body wash or you can clean your body three times with a bar soap but i like to mix it all like i like to do it all so i feel like when you use a bath and body works or just um a more fragranced body wash that it just tops it all off now for me i will say this sometimes i have like really sensitive skin not really sensitive but more sensitive to breakout so i can't always use this on my chest or on my back but i can use it everywhere else but um i get a good amount of whatever body wash i'm using this is the into the night moisturizing body wash by bath and body works one of my favorite body washes on the whole entire planet um this is like their new body washes but they also have like the obvious bath and body works body washes that are that are like gels but this is more like a cream so i'll get whatever bath and body works body wash that i'm using and i'll get a good amount of it on my washcloth and then i'll begin cleaning my body all over again once again it really depends on my skin but most of the time i can clean my whole entire body with it and it just makes me smell so amazing all right now after i get done done like cleaning my whole entire body now I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning my behind now while you're cleaning your body um it's not good to like clean it clean it clean it and then scroll back there real quick and then try to rinse it off it's good to give your behind its own time and its own like it is its own section just like with shaving that's like a separate thing than washing your body your behind is a separate thing that you should try to focus on by itself so basically i have a whole video about this on my channel i'm gonna go ahead and link that down in the, down in the description below on how to clean your behind and have zero odor and feel fresh for 24 hours and just know that your behind is fully clean it's not irritated and it just smells good from the top to bottom so i'm not gonna be going over that in this video but after i get done doing all of that then i go ahead and i clean my behind um and i have a full video on that how to thoroughly clean your behind and that is going to be in the description below i actually have two videos on that but i definitely suggest the one that is linked in the description because it, it, it just it's just better okay as i agree grow and as I get older I learn more about hygiene and so the video that I have linked in the description right now is the best video to watch anyway so after I get done cleaning my behind then I go on to the feet now the feet is its own section as well so the first thing that I do is I don't know if you guys know this or not but there can be odor and funk underneath your toenails that you don't even know so what you want to do is what I like to do is I get this dove body wash and I put it on like this little toe scrubber. Um, I got this one from Sally's, but I also had picked up one from Dollar Tree recently, if you watched my Dollar Tree video. And I put a full line of Dove soap on it, and I focus on each foot separately. And I just go under my toes and clean all around my toes, underneath them, on top of them, like everywhere. Just so that there will be no odor or anything like that so that you have clean toes. Um, because that is another place that can have odor, that can trap odor as well. So make sure that you're cleaning your toes with a scrub brush. I really suggest it because a rag 
cannot do it. If you have like an old toothbrush or anything like that, you can also use that. Or if you have an extra toothbrush on hand, but this is what I like to use. And I also like to clean the bottom of my feet and stuff like that with it. Um, so after I get done doing that, then I'll go in with this pumice stone. I bought this at Walmart. You can use any pumice stone that you want. So basically the points that you want to focus on is like your heel, your big toe, and then you know like your pinky toe. Underneath that, there's like that point that can also get really hard. So those are the places that I like to focus on. Those are where my feet can get pretty hard and pretty rough. And I like to do that as well. And if you stay consistent with this every single day, your feet will like be 100% soft. I'm really sorry if you guys hear anything in the background. My mom is talking. So um, yeah. But the last thing that I like to do is clean my downstairs area. Um, now the reason why I do this last, and I'm going to explain this in every single hygiene video. The reason why you want to clean your downstairs area last is because if you don't and you clean it and you go to wash your face or wash your hair and do all that stuff, that soap only travels down there. And even if you rinse it, there can still be soap residue residue down there and then you can have irritation it can knock off your pH balance so that is the reason why I like to clean it last and get rid of everything that could be down there my favorite thing to use down there I actually have three different things that I like to use I like to use the regular Dove white bar and I also use the Dove deep moisture wash but I know there are a lot of sensitive girls out there so what I've been using lately is this baby Dove tip to toe wash they also have a sensitive skin one that is non scented but this one right here is the one that I've been using um this stuff is really 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 good and basically what I like about it is is that it retains your natural moisture as long as you're not scrubbing too hard or yeah just scrubbing too hard so basically I get about five pumps of it and I put it on a baby washcloth I do not like to wash my downstairs area with my hands or a regular rag because with hands I feel like odor can still produce because you're not really getting rid of all the odor and then with the rag I feel like that is just way too rough to use down there and then you want to prop your leg up on the shop the side of the shower you want to squat down and you want to get in there and clean everything except for that whole area so you do not want to use any soap or anything like that all you want to clean it with is just water that's it I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't clean it with anything but I definitely suggest using water down there and cleaning it with water and just like your hand because this can have soap residue access soap anything like that still on the baby washcloth so yeah that is what I do I clean up with the baby wash the baby wash and I clean down there really good with the baby washcloth on more of the rough side and even the rough side is not rough but I go ahead and clean up with the rougher side and I just go down there really good and then I rinse it out and then either you can go in with your hands the second time since you already cleaned it the first time with a washcloth and you can get some on your hands and just let it let the soap just sit down there for like 30 seconds to a minute because that really helps with odor if you're really struggling with it or if you're not really struggling that bad with it then I definitely suggest going in with the washcloth again and not as much soap maybe two to three pumps and then cleaning it again rinsing it out and then you're good I don't really suggest the three to four times I used to do that and then it started drying me out and then it started really irritating me but I definitely suggest cleaning twice because the first time might not get rid of all the odor and all the buildup um, of like urine and stuff of that nature and that is what I do to keep my body fully clean and smelling good um, I think it's pretty simple it might be a lot to many people I think my hygiene routine has become simpler I'm not really sure if that's even a word but I feel like it has um, so I don't know it's pretty simple to me because I've been doing it for so long I don't feel like my hygiene routine is as long as it used to be but anyway with that being said I love every single one of you guys God bless you all in Jesus name make sure to keep your faith super high speak things into existence because they really will happen speak it into existence like it's your past like it already happened anyway with that being said your girl's gonna go ahead and head up out of here. I hope that just I hope that this hygiene routine has helped you guys and I hope that you guys try it out and see a big difference in your overall body smell. Once again, definitely go check out that hair hygiene routine and that behind how to thoroughly clean your behind hygiene routine as well because those are really gonna change the hygiene game like a mug. But I love you guys once again for like the 50th time and your girl's gonna go ahead and head up out of here. Bye!